this is a car show, why is there sawdust everywhere? You're probably wondering why there's a bunch of wood underneath this Bronco. Well, this is a car dolly, essentially. And what it does is it keeps everything in square when I start taking parts off of this car. So the doors, the fenders, and then some of this rust I have to repair as a part of the structure because um, I've obviously taken the frame off. The frame is what keeps it together. And if you don't have the frame, this kind of thinner sheet metal likes to, to bow and move around. So. What I've done was essentially re and, um, remake the frame with wood, but giving myself some room here to essentially work up under here. I've even got some gaps um, under here to where I can get a sandblaster up under there and get as much of this old rust and old paint taken out. We've got some parts up here, this inner fender well, and if you can see that, it's a little rusty. Well, a lot of rusty. And we've got some rust on the back um, quarter inside quarter panel and a little bit here on the uh, transmission tunnel overall though this is a really great car uh, rust considering it's from 1977 uh, came from Arizona I don't know where it was before that but the last five to ten years I think it's been in Arizona uh, maybe even longer than that but we are just about ready to take this body apart because like I said the biggest thing is making sure that We've got everything structurally sound here again, as if there was a frame to where things don't start bending and bowing. Because once this, if you get one thing that starts to bend and bow, everything from there gets out of square, and we have lots of problems. So we saw it as the structure in the frame here. What I'm going to do now is add some casters. I got these from Harbor Freight, fifteen twenty dollars each. Fancy ones with the uh, stoppers, two with the stoppers, two without, but they swivel and it'll allow me to kind of slide this around, move it around, roll it out, because um, when I get my sandblasting done on it, I'm not gonna to wanna to do that in the shop because you can just imagine the mess that would make in here. What I'm gonna do here is I won't put them on the front and the, and the very front and the very back because if I do that, that's 12 foot of span from front to back that, you know, this is gonna to wanna to bow. And again, we're gonna get out of that square. Bend and bowing is not good. So what I'm gonna do it is put it on the front and then this third support here where the uh, body mounted to the frame. Moment of truth. Look at that. Not even trying hard. Rolls right around. That is awesome. All right, I am very happy with how this turned out. This is gonna be super duper easy to work with, making this a lot easier to uh, kind of tear apart. Have to take a shout out to Jason and Joni Builds. They have a YouTube channel on, on here as well. He designed this body cart and even put up a diagram with all the lumber I needed and, and everything. And you know, it's really cool to kind of see other guys out there helping each other, um, you know, kind of take these things on. And you know, my first early Bronco that I've worked on, and it's been nice to kind of follow along with him and some other people that are working on these, just to kind of see some of the, the very technical things that you know we've got to deal with um, on these early Broncos. So thank you, Jason and Joni, if you're watching this. And thank you everyone else for uh, watching this episode.